Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Val Figure 3 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in here Taurus and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus, the zodiac sign of Taurus. So it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, um, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings for $20. You get it the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, thank you. I'm gonna shuffle all the cards out first and then I'll tell you what I see here, Taurus, in regards to who you're dealing with. Chunks here. Hold on here. Okay, and more. Okay, I see that both of you have introduced yourselves to tarot, but you guys are confused as to how to understand it, and you guys are doing it against each other. That's not for all of you, but that's you guys know who you are. My paranormal land. How's it going, guys? What's going on, though? <laughs> what? What happened here? Okay, I see the two of you here. That's why I'm like, uh huh. What the hell happened? But you guys won't even trust each other. What the hell comes out? You read for each other. Okay. That's not for all of you, but I do see that combination. And it's very unique. Okay. So anyway, Taurus, with who this is that you are dealing with. They start out um, nice, friendly, loving, having a good time, emotionally committed to you, free, breaking free, no longer trapped or afraid or worried or scared about anything, what's going on. And then they're emotionally disconnected from you. No love, no feelings, no nothing. They walk away from you. But then they either get greedy and still want to get money and material out of you or they're hanging on to things that just they know isn't worth it about them and you or they just don't care to do anything and get their hands dirty. And then it goes to the same thing. Do they not have a job or do they not want to work or what they do work on or do have a job for they don't really do much for? Um, are they copying and cheating on you off of you like taking your ideas or you know what I mean? Or do they collaborate with you or are they doing some toxic stuff in the workplace? Either or I don't know. That's made them feel like they have to kind of put up a false facade, a false persona. Um, they're not really feeling too emotionally happy and successful with you and towards you in that sense. Excuse me. But they've made a decision. Something's clear to them, which is they have a lot of hope and faith with you. They want goals and dreams and desires here with you. And they're willing to trust life in the unknown and have things get revealed to them naturally about them and you. And then I don't know what happened here. Are they cheating on you? Or are they just back to drinking and smoking and their toxicity, their addictions, or is this a friend 
or friends that are not trustworthy to you and against you and towards you. I don't know. There's a lot of weird stuff. I mean, it could be from secret groups and gang stalking to like, they're just talking shit to you or about you or they're not really having fun anymore. It's not fun and happy any longer. Whatever it is. Oh, I'm having deja vu. This is weird. Oh God. Okay. I think, I, I think maybe it's them getting drunk or drinking. Oh, I'm having so much weird deja vu right now. My head feels dizzy. That was weird. Okay. Anyway, um, whatever the hell's going on there, they're cool, calm, collected, and neutral though with you all of a sudden. And then there's something going on that they're not willing to kind of face a choice or decision or make a change and accept the reality of their life. And then it goes into, are they using you for success and recognition and validation and public image? Or are they saying that they're facing public humiliation and a bad reputation because of you? Or is nothing successful with you any longer? Or are they just greedy and ungrateful? I don't know. Then it gets a little, a little interesting. For some of you, they hate who you go get your information from. They're like, no, they're a liar. They suck. But they know it's true and it's accurate. I don't know. Others of you, they try, they're trying to do some stuff of divinatory stuff and tarot card readings on you and whatever the fuck. Others of you, this is marriage or relationship or contracted stuff. It's kind of like they're going to be scammy. They're not going to be faithful to you. You know, they're not trusting their own intuition. They're fighting. They're in denial. Okay. They're fighting themselves. For some of you, they could be spying on you. Regardless of what's going on, they don't lose sleep. They're just kind of hanging out, they get some rest, they take a vacay, whatever the hell, and then they're back to not wanting to move on and move forward in a positive way and a positive journey with themselves or with you. Then that causes them to chill out, stay alone, reflect, okay, or go to therapy or guidance of some sort. And then they want to go take another toxic risk again with you um, or just not go on a journey with you. And then this gets interesting. Once again, who's trying to do magic and the craft in a toxic way through tarot cards at you and to you and towards you? Hmm? For some of you, it's your fellow waterfront bestie. Others of you, I don't know who this could be. Because the thing is, is I can tell when there's a cult divinatory black magic, but it's in a different way. And they're even considering what the fuck did I just do? Now, the other thing for my paranormal friends, who did they just make a contract with? Because it sure as fuck ain't the angels and it ain't God. Because <laughs> God doesn't do that. You know what's here? The devil. So, I don't know what they think they're doing to you and towards you. Just be careful, Taurus. Okay? Because now they know they're doing something pretty toxic and addictive toward you, towards you in some way, shape, or form. Literally to you and your card and your energy. And this is where it's like, are they, you know, wanting to sign a contract with you? For some of you, you know, are they spying on you? Is it to make you successful and famous? Especially if it's industry stuff, then that's just different. Obviously, they operate differently. The majority, are they wanting to be in this marriage or relationship with you? Are they being unfaithful? Are they cheating? Or are they doing stupid shit with, with their own divinati divinatory stuff and occult to you? Regardless, now they're cool, calm, collected, and they're like, oh shit, let me poker face it. And then they leave it irritated and annoyed and pissed off and impatient. So, you do the math. Use your own intuition. Because you're, you're right here in this card and even you know what the fuck's going on. So there's that. Okay. You could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And that is about it. All right. Thank you. Bye.